to sit down today with the co-founder of Netflix, Mr. Melvin P. Netflix. How are you doing today, sir? Now, Mr. P. Netflix, what caused you to make Netflix? Well, initially I had the idea based on my own childhood experiences. You see, when I was a boy, we didn't have any of this fancy media streaming. No, sir, we would go downtown to the local blockbuster and would toil for hours just to find a decent movie. Now, from my understandings, Netflix offers the instant streaming monthly for about $8 a month, right? Mm. Don't you think that's a little high? <sighs> high. High. Boy, let me tell you the definition of high. You, with your inflectionary comments on my pricing schemes, you are high. Now, movie stores have had the problems with late fees. What's your take on them? <sighs> late fees. Late fees are a way for the average Hollywood filmmaker to stretch his long arm out and gouge the consumer. Why, back in my day when I was a boy, they would gouge us every single second that that darn film was late. Why, I checked out The Wizard of Oz once from the local blockbuster, and I had to pay thirty-one ninety-seven in late fees, and it was only two weeks. Cool story, bro. Now, when did Netflix start having the capacity of doing instant streaming video? When YouTube was invented. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Actually. It was around 2008 or so when we stole their platform code and then put massive amounts of DRM into it. <laughs> so I heard you recently acquired a five-year deal with Paramount Pictures. Is that true? Oh yes, as a matter of fact it is. We got uh, Paramount and Columbia and Dream Horse and Horizon. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You said Dream Horse? I've never even heard of them. Oh, they're, they're real, son. Oh, um, that's interesting. What about uh, Sony Pictures? They're really good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got the, those, those boys, too. Hmm. Um, who would you say your biggest competitor is? Competition is rather unbecoming in this industry, my good sir, but if I had to name a few wannabes off the top of my head, I would probably have to say those infernal red boxers. And, uh, hmm, perhaps, well, I can't really think of anything, but I'm sure if they even become the smallest bit significant, so <laughs> their name will come up. Now, sir, what about Blockbuster? I understand they're one of your biggest competitors out there. Blockbuster, they ain't just nothing but a hound dog. They ain't got any ears left in them. They're just old carcasses ready for the vultures to pick upon. They ain't got no story to them, son. They've been the bane of my existence since childhood. Now, from what I understand, it seems like most of the Blockbuster stores are starting to go out of business <laughs> because of your uh, immensely powerful creation. Now, is, what do you think of that? Them boys in blue never gave any of us old reds any trouble, son. Well, Mr. P. Netflix, thank you for that awesome interview. It was very informative and insightful, so thank you. Mm. My pleasure. Mm. <sighs> Sweet Jesus, I can leave this horrible place now.